Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, when you're cleaning this, um, you want to make sure you take, uh, before you drain everything, you take all the pieces out and you'll run them through the dishwasher. Okay. Um, I already did that part um, because it was left undone yesterday. Um, so these parts are all in here like this. Um, so anyway, after I took it uh, all apart and cleaned it, then you would drain it, turn the heaters off first, um, then drain it, and then you would clean all this out. Um, and you would, wouldn't um, want any kind of food stuck in here, laying in here, because you gotta remember, your dishes that you're eating off of are supposed to be getting cleaned in here, and if they're not, if that's filled with food, they're not getting cleaned properly, okay? So then you just scrub it out, um, rinse it, and then you can start to put it back together. So first would be this piece here that um, should line up with the um, pipe that's in there with a hole in it, and um, there, there's the hole there. So yesterday it was put together this way, which is wrong, and then the water is not going through there properly. So we go this way and line up with the hole. And you just push it back until it's there flush. Then you would start to put these in. And um, this part goes on the top, and you'll see that it'll fit nice and neat right there. Okay. And then it's this piece, which is um, goes this way. Um, there's a little tiny wire that goes down there, and that's what that little groove is for. Okay. And it fits right in there. And then you just continue on with these pieces. There is only one way that they fit, so. Okay, and then um, those pieces there. Normally these would have been washed through the dishwasher first, but um, I hand wash them. And then they'll go in this way, and you're gonna start up here in this part. That gets pushed in there, all the way to the back, and I just use the other one to push it up, and it fits right in there. Then the basket that shouldn't have any food in it, and then the lid. So that when you go, when we come in in the morning to fill this up to start our day, we should be able to fill this up and that water is gonna be clean. We shouldn't see any food floating around or any of that pink stuff that um, is on stuff from not cleaning it properly. And then you would just fill it up. Can you show us how to fill it? Yep. Um, to fill it up, you just turn this on. This does take a few minutes to fill. You have to shut this valve and shut this valve from there to the drains. Um, and that's exactly what you would open when you were um, emptying it. Where's the heaters? Um, you don't turn the heaters on until after it's full because it will trip the um, breaker if you don't. Okay. okay, so the heater is one heater here. You just flip that up. And you see there's a little nose there that you turn off before you drain the dishwasher. The other one is here. You should hear a click that it's turning on. If, if you don't hear that little click, you have to push the reset button, okay? And then that'll turn it on. Resets the red one? This one here, yep. Cool. Mm -hmm. you close that, you'll close this up. And the way you'll know this is full is it'll the water will line up right to the top here, okay? And it won't, you can't overflow it. There is like an overflow drain. Um, so this does take about 10 minutes to, click, to um, fill up, and then um, it's ready to, to use once the temperature goes up to the temperature that are here. And how do you turn it on? Well, to turn it on, you just flip this switch over to this way and opposite to turn it off. I don't want to turn it on now because there's a water in it, so that's it.